One second. All right, I think we're gonna have happy hour here, so I'm trying to get out there before we make the PVA. What's up, Herky? Welcome back. Whoa! Got second place, US Weekly, King Salmon. Amazing fight with Tagara. That's awesome. Were you at I-4? And what, were, what lure were you using? That sounds fun. After we get sick of carp, we go do some more, uh, some more Yama maybe. I don't know. We'll see. There are Herky. Only on Amber, though. I wish they were on Yama as well. That would be sweet. Okay, so let's see. We're doing 2D Trophy. Is what we're doing right here. That is the name of this PVA. Corn flour. And we want 10 and 6 on the 2D. And then we want uh, 12 and 8 on the peach. Watch out. These carp are not going to know what hit them. There's happy hour. All right, now watch closely. This is where things get tricky. 2D trophy, 50 gram PVA bag. Whew. We'll see if this is worth it. We'll see if this pays off. I kind of want to go uh, pretty normal, but maybe slightly left than we did last time. Not far left, just slightly. And we're not going to spot because we have these huge PVA bags. I'm just going to assume that spotting is not required. I guess we could spot once. We already have it set up, right? Although it's a different flavor. Although we found out that doesn't really matter, does it? It can be a different flavor. It's still a complimentary flavor. ...needed with these big old PVA bags. They're going to be getting flavor for days. All right, this one we'll put a little bit more farther right, kind of like in the normal spot. All right, and then we're wanting to use this with... Yep, that's fine. Make sure we get it far enough. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Oh, it's a little farther right than I want, but I'm gonna say it's fine. All right, sorry, haven't looked at chat in a while. Let me see how y'all are doing over there. Uh, I was at the spot you were fishing with hypnotics, but I used a squirrel. Yeah, that's I want to try that, Alex. Okay, so let me ask you this. Were you doing what speed and were you doing um, constant retrieval? I totally want to try that. Also, what time of day was it? Sorry, I'm bombarding you with questions. I'm just really curious. 
Usually I hit King Salmon in the evening. But I don't know that that's always the case. Alright. Good to go. We're all set up and good to go now. See if anything interesting is going on on the uh, RF4 forums right now. Um, it's Blunty, welcome back. Trophy Barble Bear, really? Ooh, I love it. I love it. Two O hooks, twenty five straight uh, straight reeling. It was in the late evening. Fought it till morning. That's awesome. All right, so there's no new news, huh? No new news. What's the fish of the week? Or do we already know the answer to this? What's let's see this uh, seven eleven through seven eighteen. That would be this frame sided. What's the biggest one? 119 or 40 132 and a 35 kilo oh man should we go for that 119 155 and 40 132 huh interesting Oh, I didn't even see what the award was. What's the award? First place gets... Why didn't it say? Oh, there it is. Wait, the Megara 8000. Uh, that's what I have three of. Actually, it was a Fish of the Week competition that I won one of my Megaras. Uh, Zayrox, first time chatter. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Keeler Keel back. Have you gotten any fishing in, Keeler? How's it feeling being back in RF4, if so? I'm doing great today. Thanks for asking. dog how, how do you have so many rods out at the same time streamer luck oh glad to hear it keeler and nice leather grats we're about to catch a trophy common i can feel it let's see let's put this over here trophy common incoming we also may get trophy mirror but if we want to go for the frame of the week, we're going to have to move spots, I think. Not that we can't catch a frame here, but they're just a lot less often. Maybe we don't worry about frame of the week, though. What's the setup? What rod and reel? Let's see, 18K, that sounds like a Taiga C and a Legend. 
No, Taiga C and uh, what would the rod be to keep it under 18? Uh, what's it called? The noodle? Is that right? Legend? Is it legend? Taiga C has that nice uh, spool size, pretty hefty weight on the on the um, mech. All right, the key here to make this size PVA work is that we really can't we can't miss ever on like small stuff. It's it's got to be pretty pretty consistent or it's just going to cut into profit so much. Let's see. If you are doing the Taiga C, then it's got to be a, a casting rod. I'm just trying to remember the cost on these. Like uh, the Barracuda might be within that price range. The Barracuda is a complete noodle. The stiffness is 3 out of 10, but it does have that nice big load capacity, uh, which is what you're looking for. Um, of course the Ultima is way out of that price price range I think this is the other one that you could go with the Zyman Rocket C almost as good a load capacity and still pretty, pretty noodle like but it's 4 out of 10 what was the Barracuda 3 out of 10 so it's not quite as much of a noodle as the Barracuda so I feel like a lot of people go with the Rocket C as well but it's got to be one of those, I think, for that price range. Oh, is this our trophy? It's probably just under trophy. Remember, this middle rod's always going to feel heavier than it really is because we only have a 30 kilo leader on here. Thanks to Eddie. Yeah, just check the prices. I can't remember how close those two rods are in price. If it's a big difference, I would just get the cheaper one. Neither one of them are like ideal, but they both have plenty of load capacity and they can get the job done on catfish. Bootna, welcome back. Hope you are well. I mean, I guess this is gonna be like an 18 kilo or something. It's just this 30 kilo lead core or leader is making it feel a little uh, a little better than it is question is is it a common or is it a mirror Could go either way this time of day okay let's be that way Avia is so good. I like the Avia a lot. What's up, Luck? Luck 67B. Is it a trophy? Probably not. Like I was just saying, on this middle rod, we've got a much smaller leader but it's it's hard to tell at this point long nose suckers on float at yama no is that good that's sounds intriguing is that a good a good uh, a good thing to do i'm not sure that i've ever really float fished on yama for other region you got second for leather nice i mean Still somewhat early in the week, but I guess we're almost halfway there. Not really. We're two days in. Three days in? Whatever. That's still good, though. Valentine, welcome back.
Whoa, yep, that's my fault. I did it. I'm still not used to this mouse. It's uh, it's totally my fault. User error. Okay, one trophy down. One trophy down. Hmm. I need to go get the replacement parts for that. I've got to be so careful with this mouse. It's way more sensitive than the mouse that I've been using for years. But that mouse, the middle scroll reel stopped working. So I switched and this thing is a... Uh, it's just it's just a, a troubling thing, a troublesome thing here. That actually went right on top of where the spot was. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I do think that was probably a trophy. Even on the 30, like that felt trophy-like. Um, but it happens, I guess. Who? What kind of bream did Seismic call it a nice bream? I wanted to see what size. Why can't I find it? Am I just missing it? Oh, 3.7, I got you. I don't know. What's a DPI switch? It's not a new mouse, by the way. It's just another one I had, which actually works. All right, sounds good, Keeler. Challenge. Whoa. Gelder. Welcome back, Next Gelder. Trophy. Next one is coming soon. That's right. I like that attitude. We're still catching a trophy today. Hey, thanks for three months, Gelder. DPI is dots per inch. Interesting. Uh, I'm not sure but, uh, about that. Valentin, what's your experience hunting whitefish? Let's see. I fished for whitefish a little bit at Ladoga, I guess. But haven't done a lot, to be honest. Every once in a while, a spot will either float or bottom spots will pop up and might go grab a trophy or something if they're hitting really hard. But it's been a while. I don't remember doing it recently. Is this fish doing? Woo, just sitting there. Yeah, no, I need to go do that. And, and and honestly, it's just even just the way this mouse wheel works, like it's harder for me to just move it one or two. Um I already changed the mouse sensitivity down some, but I think it needs it even more. Cause I feel like I'm I'm just like all over the place now. What's up, DT Gaming? How you doing? Oh, shoot. I haven't announced in chat that I'm live. My bad. done any fishing with bolo rods have any good spots i mean i haven't recently i certainly have in the past um <laughs> that's funny um let's see i remember fishing with bolo at tuba as i was leveling up my uh, float fishing sometimes there were like spots where you could let the you know let it float using bolo and like hit some really nice, some of those small fish that are worth a decent amount of silver at tuba. Um, Bolo's always a little bit weird though, for me at least. 
I would always prefer using match in most situations. Yeah, that's a good point. I could see that being good too, letting it drift on Don. It's a good call. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry about that, Hester. I'll tell you what. It's not like I'm doing something else while we're doing this, so I can just... I can just start switching these over. Although the world does need more cowbell. Yeah, from the dock at, at Don. It's good call. That's a good suggestion. Always worth trying that. Spamming T for digging. There you go. There you go. Pretty well rounded for only being level 21. Atlantic salmon, lake trout, common carp, 11 trophies. Good job, DT. Good job, DT. Uh, wait, test setting 0.5 to 0.75? What do you mean 0.5? Are you talking about depth? Is that the depth? Either half a half a meter or three quarter meter depth? Yeah, I got you. Uh, let's see, Archie Hotspots. I think. D2 to E2 has been pretty good. On Hijacker. Archie F7 is working great for Kansai. Nice. Oh, this is a fascinating conversation people are having. I love these kinds of conversations. What's up, Smokey? Welcome back. Uh, let's see. This post was a really good post by Everest. Um... So he's talking about trophy rates for different tackles. It's extremely rare to get a trophy while spin fishing. I, that might be overstating it a little bit, extremely rare, but I know what you mean. Uh, same seems to go towards float fishing. Okay, let me think about that. There have been some hot spots for trophies with float fishing, but it's not standard. So I think still I'm, I'm somewhat okay with those two statements. Uh, all right, so... I, now, the, the only issue I have is like, okay, whose account is this? I guess this is his account, level 43. 
Trophies call 89 on spinning rod, 218 on carp rod. Level 41. Trophies caught 70 on spinning, 187 feeder, 195 carp. Now, does this say how much time these people are spending doing these things? Obviously, that also is part of the equation, right? Um, so, yeah, you got to show fish caught to trophies caught. Oh, it does. That's good. Okay, so we're helpful here. All right, so we can do the percentages here. Total fish caught, trophies caught. I think I would also just say, I think this is less helpful unless you can distinguish between trolling and actually spin fishing or casting. Because trolling, I mean, of course you get less trophies trolling. You're just literally dragging a lure across the water or you know at some depth in the water you've got no lure action you're really not distinguishing very much where you're fishing where with carp fishing i mean we're doing so much testing we're putting those boilies in an exact spot we're feeding that spot so i mean i think that's really helpful feedback and things to think about but i don't know that i want to compare the amount of trophies caught trolling to any other type of fishing. Now, if you can distinguish between actually spin fishing, spin fishing, like you are in control of how the lure is being played and what spot you're casting to, that's a much better comparison to me. Vox Vox, welcome back. And it looks like some of you are agreeing with me. Plus bottom fishing, you're using three times as many rods. And that's true, although again, it depends on if you're comparing to trolling, which sometimes you do use three rods, at least two, or actually spin fishing. Feeder, you go to a hot spot. Trolling, you're not in hot spots. Yeah, and, and you may be dragging it through hot spots, but there's a lot less precision, right? Um, would be the same percentage or close if you only cast the lures in hot spots. Well, that's the data that I would think would be more interesting to see. That's the data that I would want to see before we make any like massive changes to the game based on that data. But you'll see in a minute that it looks like the admin, the admin from RF4 does seem to be thinking at least along the same lines, at least to a degree. But I hope that they will distinguish between trolling versus actual spin fishing. In my opinion, we don't need like you know, this super high rate of trophies coming out just by trolling around. That just would become way too overpowered. It's already lucrative to troll, especially at Archie right now. Spin and float also take skill into account to catch the fish. Bottom is skill in the planning phase. Yeah, I'm not sure about... I mean, I think the skill of your bottom fishing is still being taken into account, but... Yeah, there is some uh, there is some planning. All right, now we're just hitting the fish right now. It's that time of day, isn't it? Uh, what just happened, by the way? Zach, welcome back, and thank you for the 357. I really appreciate the support. Thank you. What's up, Godust? Welcome back. Yeah, I hear you, Gelder. I, um... I just, I certainly don't want an overreaction to it. Now, if the data shows that it needs to be like maybe adjusted in small measure, I'm at least okay with thinking through that, but just looking at that specific data, I think that's very misleading because of the trolling factor. Woo! I like it, Gelder. I like it. There's some stats for you. Well, and my stats are all, I mean, my stats are going to be a little weird because think of how much fun that I have going to, you know, old mosquito back in the day and catching like six trophies a night of some like crucian or gibble or something. 
Now, they're not worth anything, and... Uh, and those spots aren't always available, but when they are, it's a lot of fun. Okay, the friction brake was too low. That's why this one was running on us. I mean, what would the equivalent be? I'll tell you what the equivalent is. Sometimes you can go to Old Berg. You get the right, like, uh, you know, jigging soft bait on or something. And you can catch a pretty high rate of trophy perch at certain times, right? And so if you spend all your time spin fishing for trophy perch, your stats are going to be unusually high. But of course, most of us wouldn't want to do that. It's just a little different with spin fishing. That's usually not what people are in it for. Or the roach week, exactly. Any of those spots where roaches are popping off. I mean, you go to the Sura Pond and uh, throw in the right bait and ground bait. The amount of trophy roach you'll catch is crazy. Or the fact that I have, what is it? Four rare trophies caught? Four blue tags. You've got two blue tags, but three of mine were common roach. I think that's true. I know that two of them were. I think three of them might have been. I think I have a blue, tra a blue tag roach at Sura, a blue tag roach at Ladoga, and a blue tag roach at Octuba. Wait, hold on. Let me think about this. No, maybe it's not one in October. I might be wrong on that one. I might be wrong on that one. And there, it's possible. Let's see. Um, all right, so we know that Gudgeon was one of them. I mean, I've got the lamest blue tags ever, right? Gudgeon and Roach. Sura's not tracking roach. That stinks. All right, so there's the Ladogo blue tag. It's not going to be amber. So what does that mean? Okay, so that means that one of them is not a fish that's tracked. Wait, is there another way for me to... I can just go overall. I can see what the largest roach I've ever caught is. It could be another one. I don't know. One of yours was bleak and one was perch. There you go. So I've never had a blue tag big carp or, you know what I mean? Like, even though I have four super trophies, none of them have been like crazy fish species. I also have not remembered to put the blinkers on the other two rods yet. These are some nice fish though, even though we uh, haven't hit our s trophy yet, kind of. All right, so what else are we saying here on this thing? I think my rarest fish is a 38 kilo mirror ghost carp. Oh yeah, Zach, that's awesome. And you have a blue tag char? That's sick. That's actually sick. Yeah, my rarest fish is probably, well, I don't know. I've got that pretty big Russian sturgeon trophy. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay. So a whole percentage difference between bottom. Fish fishing. Do we agree with that statement? There's absolutely no consistent way to target bigger fish when spin fishing. So he's making an implied comparison between the fact that when I'm carp fishing, I can change hook size, I can change the size of the baits that I'm using, 
Um, I can change rig type sometimes. There's like lots of factors uh, that I can change. Lure size does not matter at all. Is that true? Lure size does not matter at all? No matter what lure you use, big, small, or medium, if lure is active, then it's going to get all and any fish? See, these, these complete statements, I just don't know that I can agree. I, if it was stated in a way that wasn't like 100% like complete sounding, then I might be on board, but I don't know. That's such a strong statement. I don't know that that's my experience, though. You have 2% trophies on hair rigs and 1% on pop-up. Oh, that's fascinating, Go Dust. I didn't realize you could do that. 26 Cory Char was my favorite catch. Yeah, for sure. That's awesome. And Gelder disagrees. Uh, Herky says that's wrong. Valentine says hook size can can make changes. Leader size can be changed for spin to scare away small fish. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I think that the, at the heart of what maybe is trying to be communicated, like there might be some truth to it. But using these like always never statements does makes it feel incorrect. Makes it feel a little too extreme. You can also target bigger fish only on spinning rods. Godust says, I've caught more fish on different sizes than other in the same spot. Herky says that statement is more than false. Zach says you can get bigger fish, but it absolutely murders the bite rate. Yeah, so just by that very statement, that's like the opposite of the statement that we just read. It sounds like you're saying you do have an impact on the size of fish, although there's consequences and maybe the consequences are a little too severe. Possibly, I don't know. You can run a bigger hook on the lure or a bigger lure, but nine times out of 10, the lure is like double the size. OMG Raptor, welcome back. How you doing? Greetings. You catch less, but your average fish is bigger with bigger tackle. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, it seems like that statement is making it sound like if a lure is active, it catches everything. Like maybe that's putting too much emphasis in almost like a lure is either off or on. And there's a little bit more nuance than that, right? Now I'm not the most experienced spin fisher. So I do want to be a little cautious on like coming to coming across too strongly in my statements because I haven't put the time in that some of you have. Like Gelder, I know you've put in a lot of time spin fishing. Either way, let's continue. Hook size has minimal to no effect at all. The amount of perch and smelt and other tiny fish you catch on extra large hooks just doesn't make any sense. Small fish can sometimes get snagged, but nowhere near the rate the game implies. Leader size has only the effect on the amount of fish, not the quality. So in this guy's experience, person's experience, it sounds like they're saying a smaller leader or a thinner leader isn't giving me higher quality fish. It's just giving me less fish. I don't know that that's true, but there's a possibility that the rate of trophy fish or even just simply the bigger fish are actually hard coded limit. I mean, I have no idea. That's that's you're getting into the only people that would know that are the programmers. You're I think in that point you're just looking at the data and maybe making some assumptions or trying to figure it out. Other tackles need the love too. Recent changes to the fishing system especially towards bottom tackle where one spot works at best for an hour. Uh, I mean, yeah, it's just not always the case, though. I mean, some spots do feel that way. Options on having to choose what do you want to fish.
maybe this week we're going to have some activity changes and I can fish for something else than these X fish. On well, most cases of bottom tackle, you're forced to change a map if you want to keep catching fish. I, I don't, I, again, it's, come, it's just a little too strong. There's some like principles here that, that have truth to them, but it's just a little too strong. Um, what's up, Nero? Long time no see. Hope you're doing well, Nero. Uh, Reaper says, from first time chat viewer, I'm new here, but watch your videos. They've helped me a lot of fishing. Uh, been pretty slow for me recently. Hey, welcome to the stream. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching the vids. That's really helpful. So thank you. Can you link that post, please? Absolutely. It's just like the hot conversation going on on the on the forum right now. But there you go. Um, Catfish, how's it going? Welcome back. Uh, Jay Friss, 36. Thanks for the follow. All I know is these 50 gram PVA bags, we are getting a pretty nice size fish on average fish caught here. What's up Wrangler? Uh, fishing's going really well. It's actually, um, it's going really well at the moment. We did snap a leader and miss, miss something that could have been a trophy, but um, Besides that, it's been good. Yeah, I've been good. Glad to hear you've been able to chill some. You're level 24, fishing old bird for bream or bear for carp, so your spots are helping. Glad to hear it. So glad to hear it. And I'm glad that bear has at least picked up, at least as far as my radar goes, it seems like it's been doing a little better recently. All right, wait, nope, oh, let's remember. Let's take the cowbells off. Now the only issue is I can't hear it while I'm reading this article, but I think we're almost done. I mean, with this post. Every map, no matter the level, the expanses, fish, etc., average out to be around 400 to 600 silver per hour. Man, I feel like, I mean, I'm not trying to just disagree with every point, but I think the amount of silver and XP per hour actually varies greatly according to what map you're on. Huh. All right. Section 8 says, love to see people point out current issues. Uh, Joe, who is an RF4 admin, says, thank you for this excellent and detailed feedback. Hey, the important point here, you know, sometimes I think RF4 admin or admin have the reputation, for whatever reason, of like not being able to accept feedback. In my opinion, it's more often that sometimes the feedback is given in a really aggressive or rude way. Uh, I'm not sure that I agree with a lot of what was said in this feedback, but sounds like they're receiving the feedback really well. Many of the points you're making were already discussing it internally, and you bring up some important other aspects as well. This is very helpful. That's really cool. My Rod Trophy Stats from Piaden. Yeah, so very similar here in terms of um, feeder and carp. Many more trophies caught than... Very detailed feedback, well done, mate. Uh, bottom fishing is, in my opinion, overpowered. I wonder when people say this, because like he brings up match fishing, right? I wonder when people say this, if they're really specifically thinking about bottom fishing for carp versus match fishing for carp. Because it, oh look, this is even Zion, who I know Zion is a huge match fisherman. And in reading his feedback here, like I think a lot of people are still saddened by the fact that, you know, the amount of carp you can catch and quality of fish and everything, it just is hard to keep up when you compare match fishing versus bottom. And a lot of people wish that wasn't the case. So I get that. Although that's a very specific thing, like uh, instead of the overall like general things that we're saying here. All right, same thing. Uh, although that's a lot of trophies on match rod, just sort of one specific thing here. According again, 
according to how much focus is on match fishing and what you're fishing for. But uh, spinning is very low. I also would say this prob this person probably doesn't put a lot of effort into spin fishing. Would be my guess. Um, there you go. There you go, section eight. <laughs> Alternate point here. Trophies call it 67 on spinning. Um, again, this is an example of someone that's a little more even, although they've caught a lot more fish on spinning. So interesting. I love conversations like this, though. I like when people are providing feedback in healthy ways, as well as like really thinking through aspects of the game that they may like or not like or whatever. It's good. It's good stuff. All right. Jay Friss says, your videos on YouTube are brilliant. Whoa. I, I mean, I'm not sure about brilliant. Thank you. I appreciate that. Really got me hooked on this game and still going strong. I'm glad to hear it. I'm tired. Just got done cleaning my carport that had two or more inches of dirt from ants in there. Wow. Willie Pimp, are you excited about Call of the Wild, the angler? Yes, I am excited to try that. Let me circle back to that, Willie, after I read through the rest of the cha uh, cha chat. In case you haven't heard it before, I'll share my brief thoughts on the angler. Xerox says, I watch your videos every day. Thank you so much for the support. That means a ton. Thank you. Pattern I've noticed recently is that Crucian carp go crazy at calm wind. Oh, we got, wow. I've never noticed wind and Crucian. Gelder does not agree with that post. Valentin, show me someone getting... 400 an hour on winding. Yeah, that's tough. Mosquito and quarry, for example, uh, have and should have different silver amounts. Gene and the other guys who I don't know work on this anymore didn't have the best comeback discussions. Zion the float god. Yeah, Zion is definitely um, very good at float fishing. I bet my main account is 80% bottom fishing. Yeah, although, you know, when I was fishing at Volkov, when I was high enough level to be at Volkov, you remember the time period when I'm talking about Wrangler, there was definitely a time when I was much higher on spinning and casting than I am now. Now I would be, I'm sure I'm way high on bottom fishing. Yes, they are herky. Uh, Goda says, can you show your stats? Uh, yes, 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 I can. Let me find out where they are. What's up, Jake? I've been watching your videos for years. Notice you have never made a Bream Pike video to focus on how to get trophies for the trophy card on Amber. Man, that's a real, that's a hole in my, uh, in my video, my video history, isn't it? That is a real history. All right, so how do I go to this? Um, statistics, I'm guessing. Rigs rating? All right. There you go. Classic pop-ups higher than hair rig. At the same time back then, Corey was popping off with trolling. Hey, did y'all get anything on Amazon Prime Day? Okay, so Herky, yes, they're making a Call of the Wild fishing game now. Um... Willie Pimp asked about it. I am excited about it. So here's what I think. I've been playing a little more Hunter Call of the Wild recently, which has been super fun, by the way. Um, and I just think that that fishing game will end up feeling so different. Um, I think the emphasis will be on the open world questing system. Um, and it'll really be on trying to uh, figure out the right times and weather and everything to like, you know, catch those diamond fish or whatever, kind of like in Call of the Wild, you're, once you've played the game a lot, you get pretty focused on, okay, Challenge. can I start getting my diamonds now? Challenge accepted. Which is why I think they eventually will need to add something equivalent to the trophy cabins they have now. Um, there, it's not going to have that at launch, but surely that will be coming. Uh, by the way, Jay Friss 36 thank you so much for the Prime sub. I really appreciate the support. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I just think that that emphasis on open world, being able to get... Well, 
It's going to be really fun. I have some concerns about how it sounds like the economy is going to work, how gear is going to work with progression, but I don't want to get too concerned until the game's out and we actually see how it works. I just don't think in some ways that it's going to be a direct competitor with RF4. I think it will be its own thing, its own experience, beautiful open world maps um, that will be a lot of fun. I, I have, I'm, I'm very hopeful. I'm very hopeful. So, and I, I don't know. I just, I think there's going to be, it's going to be really fascinating to see how it develops. And, you know, is there going to be early access? I get the feeling that it's not that far away. They don't seem to talk about stuff like years before it comes out, more like months, you know? So, sounds like we're going to see that game released this year from what they're saying. But the trophy to fish cult ratio is higher for hair rig. Oh, let me pull that up again. That's a good question, Raptor. I didn't look closely at it, to be honest. I, I, I'll pull it up again here. So you're saying I might have more... I might have more on pop-up, but yeah. Yeah, no, you're right. Because I've used pop-up three times as many. I shouldn't say I've used. I've caught three times as many fish on pop-up but i've got a higher trophy rate on classic hair good point raptor we have two trophies on pop-up method two trophies on drop shot one on hinge stiff one on chod two pike four texas only two trophies on Paternoster. Okay, that is shocking to me. I know I don't use Paternoster that much. I guess I've only caught 817 fish. We actually have a better trophy to fish caught ratio on jigging than we do Paternoster. How many of these were perch? I don't know. Bait fish, we do have 12 trophies. That's a pretty high percentage, right? 12 out of 1,100. I mean, you got to start doing some math. It's pretty interesting, though. Um, I really wish fishing for carp with Adriaticas and Proton Pros on the alt account. That sounds brutal, by the way. So hair rig is better. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think we have to be careful about the implications of the numbers. I'm not sure that's what that's saying, but... The fishing rods look too janky. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm not sure that that's final art. You know what I mean? I mean, we're seeing a preview. I'm not going to buy it unless it's real good and on sale. That's one good thing. Their games always go on sale. They're usually not that expensive to start off with, and they usually go on sale quite often. Maybe more like an arcade fishing game, the actual simulator. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, to me, I'm not sure that it will fall into... I don't know. We'll see where it lands on the spectrum. Arcade to simulator. It'll be interesting. Uh, yeah, that one rod... I think I know Shamat Wrangler. In the trailer, there's one rod in particular that just looks way too short. It does look like something you'd get in terms of the length of it and the bulk of it. Classic pop-up includes use using corn. Yes, so true. How many times when I'm using classic pop-up, what percentage of the time, maybe a third, am I just fishing for a really high bite rate, smaller fish size? Good, good call. I just don't think it's going to feel like Fishing Planet at all, though. I think it really will feel like its own game. That whole open world thing, riding around, fast travel towers, going up and talking to people, it's, it's, it's going to be Hunter Call of the Wild, except you're fishing instead of hunting, right? I mean, that's just what I, it sounds to me like. Well, and that's also not necessarily true, Raptor. I mean, that has changed over the years. There is time when, yes, there's time when pop-up is sort of the default thing you would do at Amber. But there's been seasons of time where classic hair was 90% of what you would do at Amber. I mean, that's changed according to where you are and what time, it, I mean, when it was. 
months out. Yeah, that sounds about right. Then there's loop rig, 25,000 catches. Wait, is that yours or was that mine? I mean, that wouldn't surprise me. Oh, yeah. Then there's loop rig, a.k.a. bream fishing. Rusa Teleka Loka. <laughs> Sorry, I always struggle with your name. Hello, hello. Welcome back. Double nuts. I recently found the different methods are specific to a particular bottom type. Can you give us an example? I was, I guess, logged out, had potatoes on and things on. Oh, you were. Okay, so when you logged back in, I got you. It's probably the corn that falsifies that. Yeah, yep. Too much corn fishing. The weekly white bream are on Belaya on pop-up. Weekly white bream are on Belaya on pop-up. I have fished at Belaya for white bream before. So I guess that's not completely out of the blue. Although sometimes it is on natural baits as much as it is boilies. But I've seen that before. But that is weird that three of the weeklies are there. Emil, welcome back. Yeah, no, no worries, Raptor. I mean, that's the thing. Like, you could play this game for six months. And during those six months, everyone is like pretty much you know, using classic pop-up at Amber. And you could feel like, why is this the only rig that we use? First of all, it's always worth experimenting with other stuff. But if you happen to be playing during a different six months, you know, it could be the complete opposite. It really does go, it, it sort of ebbs and flows. You rarely fish for high bite rate with classic hair. I think that is true to a degree. I mean, I think there are some spots, maybe at tuba especially, sometimes where we use smaller pellets, smaller uh, sinking boilies, and we are trying to beef up the bite rate, but it's not the same as like throwing on double corn, cocoa cream, double corn at bear, or double, cream, or double corn at amber. And just getting those sick, like, 400 silver an hour on 3 kilo cart bite rates. Five rods? Yes. It's one of the privileges of being a streamer. Nero says, that's a lot of fish. Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, I do not know that Paternoster is worse than, than Loop. Loop is what I put points in first on my main account. And so... It's just what I ended up using. And I think Loop Rig does do really well for Bream. I just never really used Paternoster much. I've used Paternoster more since I've done leveling guides, and I think it works good. Um, it's always a helpful reminder that the in-game description of these things is, um, is a good starting point. You know, I mean, if you go to Paternoster, it tells you, it gives you the picture of what it looks like. And it tells you kind of what it's, I mean, Paternoster is sort of a good for any situation standard thing, right? Loop, you're going to get better sensitivity, not quite as good at auto hooking, but it can be used in any type of water body. I think it's inline that is especially good at standing water. Uh, and also moderate size fish as mentioned right so i don't know i mean i think there's pluses and minuses without knowing any more than what the game tells us and what we experience when we test it i ended up just settling on loop rig and i use loop rig if i'm bottom fishing for something most of the time although if i was going for burbot or something like that if i'm not using ground bay i mean i will still sometimes go to basic bottom Fast auto hooking. That's so true. When Amber first came out, the hottest bait around seemed to be tiger nuts on classic hair. And that was a really good bite rate. Yep, there was a time not that long ago when Chad and uh, Hinge Stiff was really popular. They even tell you how to make wet bread. So helpful. So helpful. Yeah, I've done that too, Wrangler. Although, just for diversity, I'll usually switch it for basic bottom. If I'm fishing for 
burbot, even when I'm fishing for um, Russian sturgeon, a lot of times, even though I'm going to have PVA bags on there, I'll use basic bottom for that. Sometimes I'll do loop rig, but... By the way, I'm just kidding. These other two rods that are out are... One of them is a marker rod, so you can change the bottom... I mean, you can test to see what the bottom type is or the depth of an area you're fishing. And the other one is a a rod that in these in this case at least allows me to deliver a spod rocket with the PVA flavoring to a certain spot in the water to try to attract more fish. So they're not actually rods that you can fish with. Oh, you got a seven kilo rainbow at Corey. That is awesome. Oof. That is awesome. No, I did. When I first got here, I spotted the water. So I am technically using both. I don't always do that, but I did this time. No, I wish, Herky. That'd be cool. That'd be cool to have those little uh, radio-controlled boats to deliver the bait. Yes, that's correct. This is Megara 8K. I don't even know what trophy rainbow is, Wrangler. Was that at least close? You use the overload is the the overlord is the Megara a lot better. Probably not. I've heard good things about the overlord. If we get the little boat, all the long range spots will be found. Yeah, this is Megara 8K. And the uh, Tagara is the one that comes to the 10K. And the big one, of course. Oh, sorry, 10. Sorry, 10, 10, 10. I get it. That's the uh, rainbow trout. Gotcha. Thank you. Getting close to your first Tagara. Awesome. That is awesome. Had to leave for an hour. Any trophies yet? No, not yet, Alex. I mean, we did have one pop off that might have been a trophy, but... On this alt, I'm already 50% bottom fishing. Wow, what level are you? Is this a frame? Uh, it's not a trophy then. What's up, Lurch Dave? Yeah, that is a lot to adjust to. This might be... It's not a trophy, right? Nah, 24. 24 kilo frame. Well, it does seem like the frame trophy is possible here. Thank you, Hesder. You bought your third Tagara, now you're done. Nice, Emil. Trying your luck at Bear again, nice. Uh, I'm using Tootie for a uh, Tootie dip. Oh, crap. All right, let's see what this fish is and then I need to take a quick break.
I think frame trophy is 25, isn't it? Or is it 28? Yeah, I think you do feel a, you feel a difference, Venga to to Tagara, especially on something like Sturgeon or Big Wild Carp. I do not feel much of a difference between Tagara and Megara, other than Tagaras do reel a little bit or noticeably faster. Yeah, no, I agree with that Wrangler. You notice it in the uh, sturgeon mostly. Bigger fish. So we're using a little bit bigger size pellets, but the boilies are really, you know, not that oversized. They're size 20. And all that has equaled to a pretty good bite rate. 
mean, it's not like on fire, but it's not waiting that long. And then the fish sizes are pretty good. Oh, nice. Yeah, go for it, Emil. You can beat 26. Possibly. What's up, Wesley? Hey, Willie Pimp, thanks for the follow. We've been here just over an hour. That I don't know, Raptor. Um, I mean, it should say, right? Let's see. This, let's see. At least the fish of the week that I see is for EN, US, other, JPEIT. So do other servers have their own fish of the week comp? I don't know. I mean, I think you're right though, Raptor. It definitely includes more than one server. Now I have a feeling that what like German, German and Russian are not mentioned in that list, right? So they probably have their own, but they also have a lot more players, I think. Um, so maybe whatever whatever language has its own forum would have its own. That's a good point. Save fish everywhere, but the record is different. All right, so the other thing we might do tonight is go try the squirrel at uh, at Yama. Um, oh, same fish everywhere, but the record is different. Got you, Alex. Did you uh, do you mind sharing what size leader you were using? Just curious, like how how far down you are. Muscle corn is still just decent, decent at bear. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's what it sounds. Somebody in chat was talking about that too. 17.6. Okay. Okay. No worries. Well, we're just going to be doing straight retrieval. It shouldn't matter, right, Emil? But you're using, you're saying using uh, mono. German has their own too. I thought so. You feel a big difference. Hmm. Well, I'd probably have to make a mono. Yeah, I've got that one, but. A weekly perch. 
Nice. You cut it up. Good job, Wrangler. Sergeant Zombie, how's it going? I don't know. It's It would be hard for me to... I mean, I can try it out. I have uh, I've just not been one to use mono leaders. Guess we can check the um, diameter though. Yeah, but see, I'm not using that kind of setup, Emil, because we're going for big fish on the squirrel. I don't know. But that is interesting that you're doing ultralight with mono leader. Oh, you did Cibrolino? Wait. You did Cibrolino on ultralight? Is that what we're saying? On an ultralight rod? interesting I'm trying to think have I ever tried Cibrolino with ultralight I think normally when I've done Cibrolino I've done it on match rod because I wanted to continue to level up my float fishing which by the way is still not at a hundred percent oh ever is welcome Statements points made towards spin fishing is based on combined data of 10 people with total hours playing over 23,000 hours. <laughs> okay. I get the feeling that you're just dropping that statement on us and then taking off. If that's the case, thanks for stopping by and contributing to our conversation. Uh, yes. Yes. Yes, Jake, I can. Jake! Can you hear me? Hello, M-Dog? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Hey, buddy. Long can time you... no here. Hey, uh, I just want to let you in on a, a little bit of information okay. that a lot of people may not know in the community. Um, <laughs> did you know that if you have Amazon Prime, you can link it with <laughs> your favorite streamer for one time a month for free? All you have to do is go to that button at the top, click it, see if you got that free sub, and boom, you're in the M Dog Club. Don't feel alone anymore. <laughs> you... All right, I hope everybody has a blessed day. <laughs> so, Jake, just from hearing your voice, you should really stream. I mean, you just have a streamer's voice. I bet you have a streamer's face, too. I, I actually have a face for radio, but <laughs> um, I've, I've never streamed before. I thought about picking it up. Yeah, you and, should. Um, I don't know, yeah. you know. Yeah. It's one of those things. Yeah. You should. But uh I think you yeah, got I just wanna just get... wanna stop in and let you know that. Well thanks. You know? No, that's that's really helpful information. That will uh help yeah. all of our carp fishing to follow your, your it, direction. It really, it, it really does. And you don't get fifty three ads that are thirteen seconds long in a row. So it's <laughs> really, really great. So true. So true. So what do you think? Should right, I go in and your... should I go in and turn, you know, so now Twitch has done this new thing where it's like got this default ad setting and it's, yeah. it's trying to tempt you to keep it at that because if you keep it at that, it's going to give you, it says a higher percentage of ad revenue, which let's be honest. If you're a Russian fishing four streamer, we're talking pennies either way. Uh, yeah, I say I say the best way to go about it. Like I know that you can adjust how how long they are and everything yeah. like that. Like as how many will play and everything. I say milk it. Get as much money as you can. <laughs> Let's focus on getting those Bugattis and full like mansions in the hills and stuff like that. And then we'll start producing like the major content. You know. Yeah. We, we talked with the board this morning about okay. it with okay. the uh, M Dog Gaming uh, Corporation and. Uh, we think that you should just really get as much money out of it as you can. You know okay. what I mean? Okay. You're grinding daily. Uh, I see wiping sweat off your forehead. They don't know that you're playing in a mud hut in the middle of Indonesia and you can't afford anything right now. And we really just want to see you thrive. Oh, so 
Yeah, let's pump those numbers up. You know what I mean? We're going to really start pushing those Prime subs. We're going to get those Bezos bucks. And uh, we're, we're just going to go to the top, baby. Summit 1G ain't got nothing on us. Thank goodness they built that Starbucks across the street from my hut, or I wouldn't even be able to stream. That's You're right. And we've been working on the sponsorship behind the scenes, and they just keep saying, who is M-Dog? Like, <laughs> who are you? Uh, all right. Thanks, Jake. You're the best. Yep. Bye. Later. Uh, all right, so we got a couple things to catch up on. First of all, Everest, 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 uh, seriously, thanks for stopping by. And like I said, when I first started talking about apparently your post, I really appreciate posts like that. I, a lot of the statements that you made just at least, you know, again, like I said, sort of the way that you made them, like as if it was always or never. That just hasn't been my experience, but that doesn't mean that I'm right. I'm just saying that's not the way I, that's not my experience of, of how things have worked, but I appreciate all the hours that you and the other people that put this data together have put in way more hours than I have. And uh, again, thank you for the post. I think those kind of conversations are really helpful for the community and the development of the game. So thank you. Um, okay, hype train is close. Thank you so much for Thilius resubbing with Prime, Raptor resubbing with Prime. Wow, Jake, you got to come on more often. Goda says, getting nostalgic in here. I'm about to cry hearing the voice. Seriously, Jake has got the voice, doesn't he? I'll just take a log cabin in the woods with a lake. Thank you very much. Seriously, sounds good, Wrangler. RF4 will overtake just chatting and views. I love it. Three months. Thank you, Raptor. All right, we are still, still getting some activity here. And then probably after, let's just see what that 6 to 7 a.m. bite brings us. And then after that, we'll go check out Yama for a bit. See if we can get the squirrel working any better than we did the other day. See if we can get that rodent, that rodent to do some work. Did I like leave my Challenge. water downstairs? Woo! Challenge accepted. Vox Fox subscribes with Prime. Thank you so much. All right, Jake. Same time next. Same time tomorrow. How's that sound? Um, uh, it's on the forum. I can link it. Hey, no worries, Everest. I really was not trying to be critical. But I think just like it's important to hear your perspective and what your experiences have shown you to be the case, that's all I was trying to do was just share mine. And I think the biggest thing that, you know, that I was trying to bring up was that it would be nice to be able to distinguish between when we're talking about spin fishing and casting, it would be nice to be to be able to distinguish between trolling versus true, uh, you know, standing on the shore or standing in the boat anchored down. I think it would be helpful to be able to see that data as well. I think the way that this coded or whatever, we can't distinguish between the two. At least I can't imagine that we can, but that was that was my main point. But seriously, thank you for the contribution. Thank you for the post. It looks like both 
from the administrative perspective as well as other players. It looks like all your hard work was very well received and appreciated. All right, let me find the post again. If somebody else is wanting to read about it. Here it is. Oh, nice, Fox Fox. So did you get any good uh, any good grabs on Prime Day? Yeah, I know I was like looking at that all day, just like seeing what was going on. I didn't really have a plan or anything I was targeting, so I haven't um, I haven't really found anything, but it's more of like my fault not being prepared for today than anything. Oh. Ooh, nice. Wow, that sounds awesome, Vox Vox. Well done. An air fryer. I've heard good things about air fryers. I do not have one of those though. Let me find my water real quick. I put it down somewhere. Oh, never mind. It's right here. We got it. We're good. Nomad. Yes, you want to know what I'm using right now? I'm actually using the same setup on all three. The only thing that's a little different than what I've been doing lately is I'm using 50 gram bags of PVA, so a lot more expensive PVA. 24 pellets, which we've done before, but instead of the largest size boily we're using size 20 boily so trying to lean towards heavier fish but trying not to kill the bite rate completely i guess large one hooks all of them are classic hair rig it's pretty much the setup it was good for an hour um it, it may be slowing down a little bit now hoping we'll get one more nice juicy fish here before 7 8 a.m something like that 35 clip just left of or right at peg one.
Yeah, you're right. This spot has slowed down after an hour. I would say spots on Amber are not always like that, but they are often like that. Again, I, I have no, uh, no issue with the idea that some spots seems to seem to change after an hour, but not all spots, you know, sometimes it's, it's not that way. But, I mean, I think at Amber, if you really want to be efficient, you do want to have spots to rotate to. Even if you come back to this same spot in two or three hours, you want to rotate off and let it, let it sit a bit. I mean, I, I agree with that. Oh, yeah, I don't feel like you're trying to antagonize me. No, no worries, Everest. No worries at all. All right, let's see what this is. Hmm. Really, 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 really thought we were going to hit the trophy. But I'm not sure if this is it either. Could be. Well, I guess we did maybe hit one trophy, but Fat Fingers took care of that one. Armstrong, how are you doing, buddy? Long time no see. The endless grind. You mean the endless fun, right? At what point do we hope this is a blue trophy and we go get ahead of it and not get spooled here? least have a chance to lead it back the other way probably should have tried that sooner but I just didn't think it was gonna keep doing this I'm glad to hear you're doing well it's good to a point yeah fun to a point yeah I hear you we all need good breaks from RF4 So, like, it's, if it's a common carp, it's a trophy, right? Like, I think we're past the point of this being a non-trophy common carp. And I think no matter what it is, it could be a trophy. I, you know, the issue is sometimes, sometimes trophy fish are surprisingly, like, a little weaker than you expect them to be. And sometimes non-trophies are a little stronger than you think they're going to be, so... Not sure yet. Kind of gave up fighting temporarily here. But I can't pull it unless I create space in the line.
Uh, I don't know. Can you catch Super Trophy at on Bream at Ladoga? I'm not sure. I guess you could look at the absolutes on Ladoga for for that info. Oh, sorry, you're talking about Blue Bream. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Are there blue bream at Ladoga? Yes, I think there are, right? Right, right, y'all? I think blue bream are at Ladoga, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, not blue tag. I got gotcha. you. It takes me a minute, but I got gotcha. you. Okay. Chill, chill, chill. I'm just keeping my fat. Welcome back. Hey, guess what? I've finally got an appointment. Somebody's coming out to try to fix the internet tomorrow. <laughs> That's funny, Armstrong. Well, I mean, so let's see. That 75 kilo sturgeon I caught, that was about a 45 minute fight. That definitely was like a while for me at Octuba. But as long as you don't go for the really big fish, well, I guess it depends on what gear you have too. If you have undersized gear and you hook into a certain carp or something at Old Bird, you can chase it for a while. Hmm. I'll tell you what's cool is that, I mean, I just happened to notice that post and it was getting a lot of traction. So I started reading it and then the author of the post came and spoke to us. That's pretty cool. Sorry, I missed that. Uh, Rouge Harry, thanks for the Thanks for the follow. Did we miss anybody else? I think we got everybody else because the last one was, was Willie, right? We did get here. We did get uh, the fish to pop back left, didn't we? Ooh, I don't remember the clip. It was short. It was the 15, I think. Was it 15 at Ladoga for that blue tag roach? Maybe. Yeah, Kyle Kid. When I've had really long fights at Ladoga, especially if it's like that slow, steady, where you just get like spooled right off the map kind of situation. I always assume those are Baltics. And sometimes when I've gotten them in, they have been Baltics. Oh, it is a common. So it's definitely, yeah, look at that. It's a trophy. There you go. Yeah, 15 is what you use, Smokey. I think 15 is what I had too. Well, we got our trophy. That is so pretty, isn't it? So that means... I mean, we don't know what that first one is, but it's possible we had two trophy common today, and I snapped one of them off. The first one felt like a common, if anything, though. Rats on level 10, Montezo.
You redeem prime, but you don't see how you sub. So I think you have to link your prime account to your Twitch account. And then it should pop up as when you click the sub button to be able to use prime for it. I can do a little uh, search for you if you need me to on, I, I thought, I don't know, do I have, I used to have like a command or something. Maybe I don't anymore. You did link it? Yeah, it might take a little bit of time. I don't know. It may. It may indeed. Uh, it sounds like Vox Vox just did it. Vox, did it take you a minute to uh, for it to show up after you linked it? Yep, that's true, Armstrong. Being plugged into the community or at least using community sites is pretty important to efficiency. So 590, 430 without the trophy. 590 with the trophy, not bad. Oh goodness, what did you say, Everest? Four to 600 an hour? Yikes. 